In today's tutorial, I am going to show you how to create four banner options infographic slide in PowerPoint. As you can see here, I've created this banner with a stand here and you can add your detailed text, the title here, the icons and some text and I've put the option number here, option one. Likewise, I've created the option two with some different gradient fill with some different icons and the shadow effect. This is the option three and this is the option four and if you have not subscribed to my channel powerpoint university please subscribe it now and make sure to enable the bell notification icon as well as share and like my channel powerpoint university i have created a whatsapp group so that uh, you can get the latest update the link is provided in the video description section and if you like to contribute to my channel you can do it to paypal or patreon the link is provided in the video description section so let's start the tutorial add a new slide and change the background to the gradient fill i can see here i have used the light and the dark blue colors then go to insert shapes from the rectangles i'm going to select uh, the second one which is the rectangle rounded corner draw a small maybe this much size shape outline make it no outline shape fill you can give white or you can give gradient also then i'm going to give a 3d effect for that right mouse click go to format shape and go to effects you can see here i'm um, let me just go to the 3d rotation click on the presets and from the perspective i'm going to select this one which is perspective relax moderately just click it like this and then go to 3d format and you can give the depth increase the depth and then just go down scroll down again go here to the 3d rotation and you can just see here the x rotation y rotation so i'm just going to select the y rotation you can see here i'm just going to click this one so it becomes more of a, a perspective there and then you can go to the materials and you can give some good material here lighting for example i'm going to give like this so you can see here and then whichever way you feel better you can just choose whichever and then you can increase the depth further you can see here something like this and just add it at the bottom and if you want to make it more y rotation you can make it more also something like this and then go to insert shapes select a rectangle draw a rectangle for the stand purpose just put it here shape outline make it no outline and shape fill maybe you can give some light gray color or gray color like this and for this also you can give a light 3d effect maybe i'm going to give a uh, something like this maybe i can give say a smaller one like this okay and once this is done i'm going to add a bigger rectangle go to shapes select the rectangle you can see here draw the rectangle depending on your requirement how much width and height you need and but make sure that it is center aligned shape outline make it no outline and then shape fill you can give a white color or you can give light color also or you can give some gradient color gradient color i'm going to select the type linear and only two stops i'm going to start i'm going to select one stop with the white color and the other one i can select somewhat like gray color something like this so once this is done i'm going to add uh, more shapes and for this also if you want to give a lighter 3d effect that also can be done you can just go to again 3d rotation and you can give maybe a smaller one something like this you can see here then i'm going to add few more shapes go to insert shapes from the rectangles i'm going to select the this one rectangle top corner surrounded just draw a rectangle you can see here there are two uh, orange points the one orange point i'm going to make it curved and the top one i'm going to make it flat so it looks something like this you can see here and again i'm going to make outline no outline and i'm going to give a gradient fill for this i'm going to select the linear again only two stops one stop i'm going to give some uh, lighter color or the dark color whichever way for example i'm going to give some this one and this one i'm going to give some lighter color so whichever color you feel better you can just use that one and the direction how you want the top uh, dark and light whichever way you want you can do it and then i'm just going to select this press ctrl d and then just rotate it you can see here flip horizontal sorry flip vertical i need to do 
bring it here reduce the size you can add any text here let me just bring it somewhat down this is somewhat up so then go to insert shapes i'm going to select one small rectangle again shape outline i'm going to give some gray color shape fill make it no fill this area i'm going to add some icons you can go to insert icons and you can just select any icon of your choice you can see here bring it here reduce the size reduce the size here and give some gray color and make sure it is center aligned and then you can go to insert text you can add your title here this is the title make sure it is center aligned white font make it bold any good font of your choice you can select here and then you can add your some more text and see here you can add some text i'm the color i'm going to give the color which i have used here the teal color if you want you can make it bold again the same size of the font reduce the size and put it exactly here and then you can add some detailed text here again center align give some gray color reduce the font size you can add it here so uh, almost uh, the design is ready and then you can give some shadow effect for that go to insert shapes select the basic shapes uh, i mean the oval from the basic shape just draw this much size shape outline make it no outline and i'm going to select the gradient fill gradient fill again i'm going to use two colors one is black inside the other one outer side i'm going to choose the color which is the background and make sure that it is fully transparent this one and this one also you can make it somewhat transparent then go to the effects under soft edges you can see here increase the soft edges like this you get a shadow effect and then just put it here and send this to back so like this we got the shadow effect also so once this is done i'm just going to select all by pressing ctrl a and press ctrl g to group it ctrl d to duplicate it so this is my second option for example this option should come front like this this should go at the back then i'm going to select both of these press ctrl d you can add options like this now once you have added the options it's very easy you can just simply go and select one by one the color you can see here whichever color you feel better you can let me just zoom in you can see here i'm just going to select this and give some different color combination so whichever color combination you feel better or comfortable you can use it and the same thing i'm just going to home format painter i'm just going to click it here like this so you can see here you can just change the text make sure that this is sent to back the third one sorry the, this has to come front and this has to go back and even this also has to go back likewise you can just change the color for each option and if you want to give some small animation effect also you can do that